Hello everyone, welcome to chapter 7 that is tuples. So I will be explaining what are the tuple data types in detail. Okay, so basically tuple is just like a list except that it is immutable. What is this mutable and immutable concept is? For example, I have a list A with the values 1, 2 and 3. I can just go on and change the value of index 0 element to 4. And whenever I am printing A, it will output as 4, 2, 3 as a list. But now similar way, if at all I want it to do in tuple, for example, there is tuple 1, 2, 3. How I am defining tuple? This is list definition, this is tuple definition. You will see how we will define. But in case now we wanted to change the value of 0 index to 5, we cannot do that. Why? The external from outside, we cannot just go and change the values of the tuple. So that's why tuple is just a read-only version of list. So now our data is fixed and never changes, then we should go with tuple. Insertion order is preserved, duplicates are allowed, heterogeneous. These are the same um, techniques that we have seen in list. Apart from that, we can preserve the insertion order and we can differentiate the duplicate objects by using indexes. For example, if you have n number of same elements, all of their indexes will be different. So that's why index will play an important role in tuples as well. So now, um, whenever I am talking about indexes, we have seen forward and backward indexing. That means 0, 1, 2 are positive index and minus 1, minus 2 from backward and minus 3 are nothing but a negative index. A definition of tuple is inside round bracket with comma separated values. Right? So we will see how to define the tuple. We can just simply define an identifier with an empty circular brackets. Also, in case you wanted to add some value after first value, you have to give comma so that it will be considered as tuple. In case you do not want it to add parentheses, you can simply write elements comma separated. It will also considered as a tuple. And we have also seen the type casting, how we have converted a list or a string to list by using split method. A similar way, we can convert list to tuple by using just tuple method on list so it will be converting to tuple right so these are the ways to define the tuple similar way there are different functions that we have seen in the list as well and the strings as well like length function will tell how many number of elements are there in the tuple count of 40 it will count how many number of times 40 is there in tuple then index of 30 that means 0 1 2 and 3 so third index and then sort it so it will just sort out the tuple with correct element in order right so this way uh, even you can print the minimum and maximum from the tuple so these are the outputs for these different method operations that we can perform on tuple so uh, this is one of the major questions that we have in our uh, python interviews so round one most probably what is the difference between list and tuple so tuple is immutable list are mutable this is first thing second it is defined by square bracket sorry round brackets and these are defined by square brackets now um, since these are mutable whatever the things that you want to change or whenever you are using list these are kind of uh, not that much fast in operation rather than tuples right also um, these are not used as keys in the dictionary so in next chapters we will see whenever we are defining dictionaries we are defining by a curly braces with key and value pair so when we are talking about the keys, they, they must be immutable, right? So because of that, we cannot use list as a keys, but we can use tuple as a keys in dictionaries. So these are the top differences in list and tuple. We will see in a Jupyter notebook. Here we are just creating a different ways of tuple. And whenever I'm doing shift enter, you can see these are the different ways of creating the tuple. Then we have to access the element, we can do indexing and slicing. Similar way how we have seen in list and strings as well. Similarly, there are different functions and their examples of count, index, sorted, min max is there. I'm just doing shift enter just to give you the outputs of these tools. And then there is one more concept of tuple packing and unpacking. So that means whenever we are defining a different different identifiers or variables with different values, you can combine all of them together in one value, right? So what I did, 
we know right without parenthesis also we can define a tuple so i am just taking e comma b comma c comma d and assigning it to what another identity pair or variable name thing so now this t will be considered as tuple and similar way um, you can unpack as well for example t is having multiple values you can just take a number of variables which are equal to the values and assign it to t so all of those values one by one will get assigned to a b c and d whenever we are printing so first we have printed combine values together by packing and second one was the example of unpacking so this is how tuple packing and unpacking works so that is it from the tuple in the next chapter we will see about the next data type thank you